Uh, I had a question like, how efficient is too efficient? Um, and 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 the the answer is like, there's no such thing as too efficient if you have the right equipment for that efficiency. The issue is if you run a unit that's not designed for condensation past the point of efficiency where you have condensation. So basically, once you get above 84% efficiency, stack efficiency on a natural gas fire boiler, you will start to precipitate uh, condensation in the flue gas. And if you've got a long stack or an uninsulated stack, you could even have more condensation occurring. The biggest issue with that is, you know, steel boilers aren't made for condensation because acid eats metal. So below a certain temperature where we condense moisture, CO2 is reabsorbed into it because there's plenty there, and we've got carbonic acid. So if you've got a boiler that has a condensing economizer, something that's stainless designed for that condensation, um, then there's really no such thing as too efficient. But sometimes if we've got a boiler that we're running to try to hit a certain loop temperature or we're running at a fairly low pressure, we may be below that ideal outlet temperature where we're, we are getting condensation that's not where it's designed to be. And that, that's an issue. Um, you know, the thing with economizers is that, you know, you've got to have a use for that water. On a steam boiler, we're usually making up water. It's pretty easy to implement an economizer, but not always, because sometimes we have on-off feed water situations and stuff like that where it's not as practical. On hydronic boilers, it's another story. Um, you may have, you know, return temperature that can go through condensing. It's just, you have to look at the application.